So if you are a KU student, say hi. Hi. Any alumni? Oh, say yeah. hi. Hi. We have you in. Uh, we have Dev Elimo Plus, National Youth Council, Node Association, Kenyatta University. Uh, we have flown, of course, as I will welcome our partners from KU to just say a few welcome notes. Welcome to Kenyatta University. I am delighted to welcome you to this uh, uh, convention. If you look at the mission statement up there, that is why I'm very happy that the report we are launching today is titled Inclusive and Accessible Public Transport Services for PWD, Persons with Disabilities. The Kenyatta University vision statement says the vision of KU is to be a dynamic, inclusive and competitive center of excellence in teaching, learning, research and service to humanity. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, or guten Tag, as we would say in Germany. Uh, my name is Bastian Schulz, and I'm the country representative of FES Kenya. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, so, as we've heard, my name is Abigail Moigai. I'm a senior network management officer with Namata. How many know the full meaning of Namata? <laughs> well, less than 2%. All right. At this point, I would like to invite Naomi Maora to give a few remarks about where we began, where this work began, the journey, and uh, from there, we'll proceed. We started this work on disability mainstreaming about, I think it's about two, three years ago, with the support of Nairobi City County. Nairobi City County. Nairobi County. Sorry. <laughs> in Flon, our work has three mandates, knowledge generation, that means we do a lot of research, uh, behavior change, looking at how can we change the behavior of various stakeholders, and movement building, meaning that we try and work with various stakeholders to try and bring them to work on inclusive mobility. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rajina Gitao. Please allow me to sign my name. I just learned this morning how to sign my name. So, good afternoon. <laughs> my name is Raji. <laughs> yeah, Rajina. So, I'm glad to be here and I'm glad to have the privilege of uh, presenting this publication. I believe uh, Bastian and Naomi have already set the ground uh, because as we all know, and I bet, I can bet, whatever, I can bet my laptop that nobody, uh, whoever has used public transport today has not used an inclusive public transport, right? Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Grace Ndegwa. Um, I'm a disability inclusion facilitator and uh, I am a student here waiting to graduate with Bachelor of Education. And for the sake of those who can't see, uh, I'm wearing uh, a maroon dress. Um, I'm not brown either, dark, I'm just there. My name is Ivan Omondi Odera. I work for the Kenya Society for the Blind. I'm the head of advocacy and corporate relations. And it's a great honor to be here. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi, uh, my name is Jane Denga. I'm also a disability inclusion facilitator. I'm a founder and director of Inclu uh, Disabled Inclusion Node Association. I'm former director of Disabled Empowerment Society. I'm also in sports. I present your country in wheelchair tennis. Okay, good evening, everyone. My name is Ashura. I thank you for this opportunity. So I work with the National Council of Persons with Disabilities. So for Ivan, I'm happy to see you. Um, I think the question that we are here because of the BRT system, what are you hoping the BRT system will, which of your pain points are you hoping the BRT system will help? Thank you very much. So about the BRT system, I think it's so marvelous and it's a really good idea because most of the time we think about it.
So I think it would be nice because it has a specific lane. It will be very easy for people to access it. So people who are in a hurry, I think they can catch the bus. We, we find that most of our normal matatus don't have ramps. So how can the other people get helped? People with disability who have wheelchairs, how can they access the matatu? Maybe if they don't have an aid, someone who helps them. Thicker road, you know how it's very harsh for people. As a person with disability, I believe that uh, our safety is normally key. Many a time that I think it has happened to most of us who use public transport, that we've uh, been uh, robbed of our change. We do not know the correct amounts of money which we give out. So if we can now bring in some order into that, I believe that would be one of the key things that would be solved on that. So safety is very important. So with the BRT, I think with, when, we, when, when it's implemented with the right design, the way it has been designed, it will really help us, person disabilities, because you will not fear, you will not have this fear of when I'm going to board the, the bus, I fall, or uh, maybe fear of being violated, maybe, because you have the features that Naomi, uh, Naomi and Regina really reflected, uh, described very well. You can press when something is going on. When you want to alight, when you want to do something, you can press them. So I think the fear also will be will go because many of us, or women, especially even girls, we fear because you find you spend a lot on Ubers because you fear going to the matatus or buses. I think it's a quite challenging, especially our, not our roads are tarmacked. Some are rough roads and um, uh, for me, who use wheelchair, I find it so difficult to to live in a place where there's no uh, good roads because that means I have to be assisted. And for me, I I really I always want to be dependent. I want to do things for myself. So thank you very much for convening this today. I believe the conversation doesn't end here. And to those operators of public transport who have been going an extra mile to support the needs of persons with disability in boarding, alighting, or even showing directions to where they are going. God will reward you in a big way. <laughs> Thank you very much. I ask to end there. The conversation continues. I am Abigail Muigai. I am a civil engineer by profession and I'm currently working for the Nairobi Metropolitan Area Transport Authority as a senior network management officer. So the discussions we are having today on inclusion of uh, persons with disabilities is very timely, even for the country at large. Um, what Flon is doing is very impressive because uh, they've brought together so many people who are actually facing the challenges. So it's not like you're hearing it from a second or third party, you're hearing it from the horse's mouth about the experiences that they go through every day. And um, it's, it's challenging, at the same time it's very touching. And um, this has all been put together now in the report because if the report is implemented by Flon, of which Namata is also working towards, then we can have an all-inclusive public transport system that everybody can use comfortably without fear, with a fear of uh, the security of their safety. The efficiency will be uh, top-notch without worry of whether you're going to be left somewhere midway or uh, the fares hiking unexpectedly. So yeah, the report right now is very timely, timely and congratulations also to Naomi for bringing together all these players. My name is Bastian, Bastian Schulz. I'm the country representative of the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung office in Nairobi. The Friedrich Ebert Stiftung, yeah, it's a German non-profit organization. We are uh, close to the values of social democracy, which could easily be translated into we are fighters for social justice, or we actually try to work with the fighters for social justice. Yeah, our role is somehow to, to support Flown in providing spaces like the one you provided today. And I'm always impressed by, by the, the, the openness of the participants. And it's quite obvious that the participants feel, feel safe uh, to speak about their challenges. 
And the panel that uh, yeah, we had today was on the one hand very enlightening, very encouraging, but also fun. Uh, and that is uh, not always the case with the panels that we as FES support. I think it was an incredibly successful workshop, um, definitely more than just the first steps toward, uh, towards inclusive mobility for all, but there's still a lot to come uh, and quite a number of struggles that we need to engage ourselves in and we're happy to support Flown in that. I'm Colin Sombajo, uh, working as a disability inclusion advisor with the Light for the World. Additionally, I support disability inclusion services, Flown initiative. Well, disability inclusion in public transport is a conversation that um, was has come at the right time uh, when um, the Kenyan public transport um, services uh, going towards deviating from inclusion of the interests of persons with disability. The BRT system um, is a thing that has come in handy, um, a negotiation on how best to include the interests of persons with disability in the design and um, the operation of uh, the BRT is something that is a welcome move uh, to persons with dis the whole community of persons with disability in Kenya. Noting that um, disability is the largest uh, minority group, their interests need to be reasonably accommodated so that Kenya can be an inclusive country. I am Dr. Gloria Ajami Makoha, a lecturer in the Department of Literature, Linguistics and Foreign Languages, Kenyatta University. The workshop was very productive, majorly because I got to hear about what uh, a group we consider minority can benefit from the BRT and I've also heard from the members of this group. Um, I've listened to their challenges, I've listened to what they would like to be done for them to be comfortable. Uh, so at least I'm confident that we have a starting point um, towards um, a better public transport system. My name is Lucy Kihonde, I'm the program officer for the initiative. Uh, today I feel we had a very productive uh, workshop considering we had all the stakeholders on board, we had persons of, with disabilities, uh, we had the government agencies represented and also a learning institution. So for me, I would say it's a very successful event uh, because we are not only collecting feedback from the academia, but also um, having people who will be implementing these recommendations. So I feel for me, it really went well.